Everybody keeps talking about the benefits of cryotherapy. Now, unfortunately, we don't have time to do this every day. <sighs> Pretty cold. And I definitely can't afford this every day. But a cold shower is doable for the average person. So in this video, we're gonna find out what actually happens if you take a cold shower every day for over 100 days. All right, I hope that's good. I'm at work and I started editing this video and realized that I forgot the biggest part of the storyline and it's that we're actually answering nine different questions about this cold water challenge. So I'm just going to give you those questions real quick so that way you are following along in the video. What are the benefits listed online? How did I take these cold showers for the challenge? Were there any immediate benefits or feelings right away? Is taking a cold shower difficult after one month? Are there any new benefits from month two? How difficult is it to take a cold shower after two months? Are there any new benefits in month three? What are all the benefits that I personally experienced firsthand? And am I going to keep doing it? I don't know how I forgot this, but get back to the video. If you look up the benefits of cold showers online, you would think it's the freaking fountain of youth. And it's not just Google telling us these benefits either. I mean, there's actually peer reviewed articles and studies showing the benefits of cold water immersion. And I'll put the peer reviewed articles down below so you guys can stop commenting on my peer reviewed articles. I'm just kidding, but if you guys wanna read the articles, they're down below. But even with the evidence from doctors and scientists, you and I are gonna consider that fake news because we're gonna find out for ourselves what benefits actually happen if you take a cold shower for over 100 days. for those that really like their shower time, this will ruin it for you. If you look forward to a warm shower, now you're gonna look forward to cold ice water raining down on you. So originally in December, I would start with warm water and then I would finish with 30 seconds of cold water. Then I worked on building up that 30 seconds to about three minutes of cold shower time. Three minutes is about what I saw online for a good reference of how long you should be going in cold water. And then now I'm to the point where I would start lathering up and then I would switch to cold water and I'd use that to rinse off so I could get a little bit above three minutes. Yeah. I did not think I was going to have any benefits right away, but I will say right when I got out of that shower, I felt great. I was energized with a low amount of stress. I'm a very stressful person. I like to create lists and a very OCD type kind of person. This reduced my stress a lot and these benefits stayed through the whole month. The more the challenge went on, the more that extended. Or originally, I felt good for like an hour afterwards, but then as time went on, I started feeling good the whole day. Before the shower, you're gonna hate it. You're gonna be like, man, I don't even wanna shower today because it's gonna be fucking cold. But stick with it because afterwards, you're gonna feel great. Now, moving into the second month, is it still difficult? Yeah, it's still pretty difficult, and I still do not wanna take showers. But I will say, as time went on, um, I went from not looking forward to showering to actually looking forward to after the shower. You will slowly switch over from feeling like I don't want to take a shower to I want to take a shower because afterwards I'm going to feel great. For benefits of the second month, like I said, my mood was great throughout the entire day if I took a morning shower. And at night, I started sleeping easier. I don't know if that correlates to the cold shower, but I started going to sleep easier and sleeping better. I also started finding that my muscle recovery um, was quicker. So I, I go to the gym about three to four times a week for about 30 to 45 minutes. I recovered quicker, and when I got into the gym, I just felt better. Now, there's a weird benefit that I found in month two that actually wasn't mentioned online. I started absolutely annihilating the golf ball. So thanks to everyone who helped me with my golf swing. Anyway, into the third month. At this point, it's become a habit, and I don't even, there's no negativity in the shower anymore. It's just become a part of my lifestyle. At this point, I'm actually addicted to taking a cold shower. I think it feels good now. I don't really have that, that takeaway breath shit that you get. Like, you know, when you get in cold water, and you're like, <laughs> if you can last two months, do it because it's 100% worth it. Now, there is one crazy benefit that I wanted to talk about that I didn't even know would be such a drastic one, and that's weight loss. I've always been around 190, 195, uh, and I really couldn't drop below that. Since I started in December, I was probably like high 190s. Now I 
teeter between 187 and 190 maybe. I don't know if the weight loss is coming from burning fat from being cold or if it speeds up your metabolism. I don't know. But all I know is that I'm losing weight on a slow, steady, consistent average here. I haven't been 187 since like high school. Besides my seven day fast, that doesn't count. And I'm still going down. Now that's not a lot. That's not a quick weight loss. But I think that's a good benefit that everyone should look at. So after the three months, we could see that there are benefits from cold showers that we have now figured out. And it's muscle recovery, it's weight loss, and it's an overall reduce of stress and mood boost. Now, these are the things that I have experienced in my own challenge of cold showers, right? Um, you might experience some other ones, some other ones that we listed in the beginning. And I would love to know what you guys experience because I like hearing what you guys say and what, you know, the comments on the videos. So if you guys do this challenge or if you guys want to fix my golf swing again, please feel free down below. Now, the last question of this video is, am I going to keep doing this? And I think you guys all agree by now, 100% yes. I mean, this, this stuff is, it's doing something good. Is it a placebo? Maybe. Who cares? Because it's working. The older I get, the more I focus on my body and health and mental awareness. Uh, things that I never thought about in college. And I think a cold shower a day will keep the doctor away. <laughs> so, plus fasting and vitamins and grounding and high-protein diets and abstaining from processed food and seed oils. But, um... That's for another video. Sometimes I like to hike up mountains just to see how crazy small we are. So spend this world. Oh, shit. That's cold.